I think there's a sense of urgency in trying to rally around uh, and, and building an infrastructure that's dedicated to preserving and protecting the interests of children. I don't think that that's a partisan interest. I think that that's universal. And I, I think that uh, people's ideology uh, often sometimes are impediments. And we need to get away from that. And we need to strike down those kinds of uh, unrealistic barriers. I had the pleasure of being part of the first cohort um, for the Policy Leadership Academy, and it has been an incredible, incredible experience. I'm so very happy that I not only heard about it, but had an opportunity to join and participate. I would say for me that the best part of it was the networking with other people in the community. You all have a lot of knowledge and expertise around collaboration as well. And so the design for today is really meant to also tap into all of your knowledge and expertise so that we can learn from one another. You identified, right, that we're working towards a common purpose that it isn't just, although this is important, it isn't just about sharing information. That That's valuable. But if that's the end point, then that collaboration from my frame of reference is not going to achieve the kind of social change that, that I believe is really important for us to live in a world that is good for children, families, and communities. To be principle-based in my decision-making, to, to make sure I'm doing what's right for the country. Um, I, I believe in the Constitution. I believe in capitalism. I believe in competition. And I believe in charity. I know there's a passion. You can feel it, right? There's a passion in our community. There's, yeah, uh, there's, I love it. There's, yep. they, 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 we want to see things happen. Uh, the most important thing I learned from the academy was about the different elements to a successful policy, public policy advocacy. I really learned the significance of um, knowledge on public administration. You know, learning to hear best practices from these experts and public leaders as they serve the community. It really has become a program that is embraced by the community because it's from the community to the community, right? We have been able to provide food from day one of the pandemic and have not stopped since then. You know, it's a sense of belonging, right? I think all of us mm -hmm. as individuals, right? And then we make a community, and then as a whole, as a community, we want to feel we belong. Children's Bureau of Southern California and the work that is being done in these courses has really been thrilling. Let's talk about challenging situations and challenging people. Use your language, use your words, cue in, schedule boundaries, engage, and above all, listen. Listen to what's being said, listen to what's not being said. It's all important. And I would say a key takeaway after joining this uh, Policy Leadership Academy is um, being yourself, learning to walk in the passion that was given to you. I've noticed that um, there's a, a strong sense of passion for all the agencies that come together to make sure that we are providing the most caring, loving, educational, financial resolution to our families that are struggling in the Antelope Valley. Um, I've learned so much. I've learned so much about community, what it takes to be a leader. Ethics in what context, ethical according to whom, at what time, and under what circumstances. At the end of the day, only you will know whether you have acted ethically based upon that own individual internal standard. We're gonna to go to the next slide and talk about the world as it is and the world as it should be. In community organizing, we believe that we need to start with universal values. And those universal values are values that exist regardless of you know where you grew up, right? What country, what, uh, you know, religion, you know, what political orientation you have. <laughs> yes, okay, this is what makes me happy as a facilitator. Like, okay, you got it. Yes, we got it. <laughs> you know what, the, the most important thing was the um, 
was that we got to get up close and personal with some experts that we may or may not um, be able to afford to pay for if um, on a personal level. The other things were there was you had some really, really good um, professionals. Um, Danielle Johnson, um, diversity, uh, equity and inclusion um, part. Um, Miss Melody Tao, the um, marketing lit person, and then um, communicating with difficult people. We do that every day. That that's helpful. <laughs> uh, so so um, what I what I really appreciated was that you put together some things that helped me not only in my my job um, with the senator, but also um, in my nonprofit. If you're really using it to build up your presence and build up your brand, you want to have some sort of consistent schedule and once a week is a great opportunity to start. Hey, it doesn't have to be every single day. Anytime you have a large following, it does give you credibility. It does let people know, hey, people are listening to that person uh, and she has something to say. But keep in mind, that's not as important of having it as, as having engaged followers. And the work that you're doing and what you're engaged in. Do you practice equality or are you practicing equity work? Maybe the people you're serving don't want to talk to you because you're coming in too hard. You're coming in a little strong, right? You're preaching to someone that has worked all day and now they kind of come sit and listen to you, right? And you're not being empathetic. So how are we showing up, right? Are you showing up with the appropriate, graceful, gracious attitude to connect with those that need support? Um, just being in awe of, of the guest speakers that um, poured into us their knowledge and their experience and, and their, their life, their life work. That's it, their life work. We just had our, our last speaker, which was <laughs> mind blowing. Can't even say anything less. Mind blowing was uh, Dolores Fuerte. And th this civic leader just was amazing. Is that we have to remember that we are one human race. And we should never use the word race unless it's attached to the word human. Together, human race. Again, we can see that we're not focused on education. And of course, education is the most, most uh, basic thing that we need. Uh, it's the foundation of our democracy. Who's got the power? We, we got, got the power. power. What, what kind of power? People, People power. power.